Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame on our hands and this is called the 210 XT. It's a no name frame. It's from Banggood. Um, it's $20 and that's the reason why I picked it up and it looks pretty sweet actually. So they're stating it's 76 grams, which was the thing that also kind of really attracted me to it because I also have another budget build on uh, planned on this channel and it's going to be $125 budget build. It's going to be a pretty insane one and it should be the video after this one actually. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it. Now everything aligned perfect. I did have to force one of the screws in to hold one of the arms. Uh, it just basically it was a very tight fit through the top plate but it wasn't a big issue at all. Um, everything else, all the hardware is there. Uh, the top plate is two millimeters. The arms are four millimeters. And both bottom plates here are two two millimeters, so that's good in that perspective. Uh, you do have plenty of room in here. Uh, you do also have some kind of SMA port thingy. And if you wanted to go ahead and wrap your battery, there is no opening, but this is just perfect enough to get it through. So as you can see here, there's also self-locking nuts. Just add a little bit that as just that little extra space. Maybe you would like to put some, uh, maybe a smaller spacer or something here and um, get your battery strap to go through if you're going to put some PDB. Now this will f surely fit a three stack in here and maybe you'll have some issues with the receiver and uh, VTX, but other than that, it should be pretty good. So I'd really highly recommend some kind of, uh, if you have the ESCs out here, you're going to have plenty of room. Uh, I could just see that right now. So this one, we're going to actually do something a bit crazy with. This thing should cost us $125. And in theory, it should be an absolute beast because it actually weighs, well, they're stating 76 grams but it weighs 77 to 78 grams. So that's a pretty light quad for $20. That's pretty insane. And um, once I double checked everything, everything felt perfect. Also, yeah, one thing to also take note of, I did have to kind of force this plate down in a little bit. I didn't have to file it to get it to fit, but I did have to somewhat force it. And other than that, there was really nothing else. And it just comes in like this like little donut bag thingy um, with a sticker on it. So they've gone ahead and just, you know, saved money on packaging, which is possibly why it's so cheap. The they're not the corners and sides are not really sanded down. They're they're pretty soft. I mean, they're not sanded down at all. But I did not get any splinters like I did with the Amax frames, and it's not really scary to touch it. However, it just keeps your hands kind of dirty. But I mean, just rinse it out with water, all the parts before you put it together, and you should be good to go. Um, so overall, I really like this. It's only twenty dollars. There's really nothing I could really say. Um, the arms are. It's not a one-piece bottom plate. The arms do come separate, and um, they do align. They have some kind of lock, not locking mechanism, but aligning mechanism, which kind of keeps it um, pretty good. I would say. I, I kind of like the looks of it and everything about it. But you know, this is just just looking at it. I haven't done anything to it. But I do have good news on that perspective. Make sure you watch the next episode when we build this guy because he's also going to be on for another giveaway. And in two days time, within the next two days, I'm going to be announcing the previous uh, budget builds giveaway. So yeah, watch the next video and it's going to be up for a giveaway. And this is going to be pretty sweet, sick quad for 125 bucks. So yeah, well, if you want to see it, here it is. It does have four millimeter arms and um, it looks nice. That's all I can really say. It's a 220, so 5 inch. And that's it, guys. So just stay tuned. We're going to be building it next. And um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.